Welcome back to Monkey of the Month. This is the sixth installment in our monthly series where we choose one out of three nominated monkeys to be crowned our Monkey of the Month. Happy six months to us, Brandon. Congrats, we survived half a year. Um, what, what can a, what can a, 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 a primate uh, infant do after six months? Well, uh, I feel like a uh, you know, monkey could uh, could probably uh, maybe uh, clap its hands, you know, so something funny like that. Maybe drink milk, you know? Perhaps drink milk, <laughs> drink yeah. Milk. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they can drink milk before that. Uh, anyway, um, let's not dive into that too much. We have something to do. We have some monkeys to rate, and uh, by gosh golly, we better get started. You you milk sucker over there. Let's... Um, <laughs> Let's start. Very quick review of our four criteria. Brandon, do you remember them? Absolutely. You see, I even wrote it down. Uh, <laughs> meme potential, power, renown, and uh, cursedness. That's right. And cursedness is a negative one, in case you're wondering. But we'll uh, we'll do that out. Uh, we'll figure that out later when we're scoring them. So don't you worry about anything. Let's get on to our first nominee for April 2021. Boom! What is that Whoa. creature over there? It is the immovable Gonzalez from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So what can you tell me about this guy? Because, uh, you know, assuming I know literally nothing about the series. Um... So, um, you know, uh, th this fella here is uh, some sort of random uh, boss you would counter while playing the game. It's like, a, I mean, not necessarily like a random counter. It's more like a, like he's in a specific area, but he's not like a mainline boss. You don't ever have to fight him. And he's extremely high level to the point where he's like level 100 something or like level 100. And the final game's boss is at level 70. So you have to be, like, really, you know, nothing better to do to grind up to a point where you can fight him. <laughs> so did you get to slay him? Uh, absolutely not, because I didn't care enough, you know? Maybe you didn't have the heart to kill such a lovely mythical beast, huh? You know, I, I guess we could go with that. <laughs> yeah? It's up to you to decide how your head cannon goes at home. Isn't that right? <laughs> um, no, but he looks kind of funny. Um, I think this is actually the best image out there, you know, much like uh, Patty, the infamous uh, Bigfoot Baba Bowie. video, you know, the, the Patterson. Yeah. You know, it's just, this is the best we have. Yeah. He's just flanked on all sides with, like, the immense amount of UI that comes with Xenoblade Chronicles. You know, we, we can even see the type of guy he has in his party right now. I think he, I, you know, I could read it on the three pixels that he has up here, so that's uh, that's pretty great. Then this guy he looks pretty powerful to be one of the boss. I know he has some some other friends. Uh, God, oh, what are their names? There there are other really funny names from that game yeah, for like his brethren and stuff. Has a lot of uh, hilarious and wild names for its enemies. I think he's pretty epic just for that alone. But let's move on to our next nominee. We've given we've given Mr. Gonzalez over here just enough of our time. Whoa, what is this disgusting little creature? <laughs> um, this is in fact a Kifa. A mythical beast, which was proposed by a Mr. Dixon, D-I-X-O-N, who uh, came up in one of the courses I was taking, and is proposed to be, uh, you know, an evolution of some monkeys in the future, you know, further down the line. These little creatures live in the boughs of trees, um, <laughs> in, in packs, and they construct little citadels in them, and they uh, protect themselves from ligers, which are like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Leopard tigers, they're like monkeys and jump through the trees, sometimes hunting and killing them. Uh, they have sharp claws, and uh, I would absolutely not want to mess with them. You know, I can tell you that much. But what are your thoughts on the Kifas, Brandon? This image kind of gives such a cursed vibe that, quite frankly, uh, I wouldn't want to go near the thing with a 10-foot pool. Unless it's, uh, I I'm perfectly secure, I wouldn't want to touch that thing. Look at that. I don't like its claws, or it's uh, kind of... A little bit too close to, to human featured face. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. Yeah, I was also toward they, told that they have horny armor. Um, I don't believe that's armor against horniness, but rather it's um, it's like a spice and uh, strong. And uh, I don't know. Uh, they, they seem to be fighters, and I could, you know, <laughs> honestly, one of my nightmares would be getting clawed by uh, multiple of these at a time in uh, any jungle, in any setting for that matter. Shout out to uh, Dixon. Yeah, interesting creatures. There's many more from that book. You know, it was a tough call between a couple of different simian little looking dudes. But uh, this one is not bad. Uh, not bad at all. Let's get on to our final nominee for April 2021. How's that sound, Bren? That sounds great. Shibuya, what is going on <laughs> over here? 
What an absolutely uh, interesting photo here of a of a monkey grasping a uh, kind of a kind of sickly looking chicken. I must admit. <laughs> what makes it sickly looking? Oh, it doesn't look like a like a you know it's a, it's, it's a little bit dull in color. It's uh, it does not look like a what I imagine a normal chicken to look like. It's a, <laughs> it's a funny little creature. You know what strikes me about this image? Is uh, this was actually a uh, part of a, a, a marketing ad for a KFC back in 1994, um, when they were like, you know, given that primal meat lust to uh, devour some chicken. No, I'm kidding. I'm obviously joking. Uh, you know, it might not have been funny, but uh, it was there. Um, <laughs> this monkey, his tongue is out. He is licking that bird. Why? Why, why yeah. is he licking the chicken? You know, it's. Uh, I think there's a couple interpretations to that. One, it's you know maybe the. Uh... Monkey's a little bit hungry, a little bit, a little bit peckish. I beg your pardon. Okay, now we're back. Um, no destruction of property here. Why is he licking the chicken? So I think there's a couple different interpretations here. I think uh, one of them is, you know, maybe he's a little bit hungry, a little bit peckish. You know, uh, monkeys are not uh, are not, uh, you know, uh, vegetarians after all. You know, a, mm -hmm. a monkey a monkey wouldn't uh, refuse to to slurp a glass of milk or uh, or chew on a a bit of, bit of eggs, you know, eggs and bacon in the morning. You know, I don't think I don't think a monkey's adverse to that. So maybe yeah. he's a little bit hungry and uh, getting ready to eat that chicken that he's been uh, cultivating for many years. Maybe he's uh, <laughs> maybe he's being friendly with the chicken and just doing like those uh, like the quirky selfies that people take with their tongue out for no reason. Just doing <laughs> one of those with like his chicken friend who's like really not into it. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in adventure mode. <laughs> No, don't, 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 don't. Okay, I won't no click it anyway. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think the the last one is, uh, yeah, the last one is maybe it's some sort of like a like a wedding photo, you know. It's, uh, oh God. But uh, I, I think that last one be cursed, and uh, I think perhaps uh, breaks the species boundaries a little bit too much. So uh, let's hope it's not that one. We did some research this week on uh, on uh, hybrid species, didn't we, Brandon? Yeah, and so uh, the the pissy and the. Uh, uh, what were the other ones? Yeah. Liger, um, Wolfen, uh, oh, there's, there's all sorts of funny ones out there. But uh, this guy, yeah, I, I really don't want to think that's going on. I, I do like to imagine him as a livestock farmer. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, perhaps this is just the Easter monkey. Have you ever even stopped to consider that? Wait, why Easter? <laughs> oh, because it's like a chocolate chicken, but it's not. It's a real chicken, and chicken <laughs> in spring. It's like small. That's, it's uh, like this is the Easter monkey. That's uh, okay. I, fair enough, I guess. He's <laughs> <laughs> doing his job, you know. A couple weeks late at this point, but uh, you know, you know, can you blame him? He's a monkey after all. He can't hop around like you and <laughs> the aforementioned bunny. Um, and with that, I think we need to finally crown our winner. How's that sound? And give him a score. Yeah. Let's see how we do. That doing. sounds pretty excellent. Let's clear this before I accidentally destroy more parts of the set. Doot doot. And without further ado, I think we're ready to drumroll, please, announce and crown our monkey of the month for April 2021. Are you ready, Brandon, and our viewers at home to finally crown our monkey of the month? Absolutely. <laughs> that is a resounding yes. I heard you. I didn't see you clapping and whooping at home. Okay. Our winner for April 2021 is... The Monkey with Chicken. Oh, 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 oh. That's fine. So, let's get going and explain our choice. Huh, Brandon? How's that sound? Absolutely. Our first criteria is, after all, meme potential. So, how meme how possible is it to meme this singular photo of a monkey with his tongue out licking a, mink, a chicken he do be hugging dough? You know, I think uh, I think there's a good amount of meme potential here for, you know, like, uh, I, I think like you were saying, the whole KFC thing, you know, so I can imagine like somebody being like, uh, you know, like my husband when he gets the KFC bucket home from the KFC, <laughs> you know, one of the, one of those, you know, I think uh, that's a good meme or, or just, uh, uh, some other variety of uh, being hungry for chicken or maybe uh, taking like weird pictures with a pal like I had mentioned before So uh, mm -hmm. I think this does have a good amount of meme potential. It may not be like a Like a minion mean level of uh, you know meme popularity, but I think it still does have its potential Yeah, I would have to agree and you know what this is a little bit of an unsung gem 
of the internet. But it, you, you know, we're coming at you live on the on the cutting edge of uh, all that is memes here on Monkey Business. You know, if this blows up, we'll just have to see, won't we? But I, I absolutely agree. You know, and as I kind of joked before of this being a part of like KFC's marketing campaign, any sort of chicken company could have that, right? Any your local grocery store could have this image up and be like, "You when you when you get home." So, you know, I do think that it does have fairly good potential. So, Brandon, what are we thinking? I'm thinking uh, maybe uh, uh, th 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 three and a half. Three and a half? I think that's completely fair. The monkey with the chicken gets three and a half in meme potential. Now, let's not waste much time. Let's get on to power. And you know what? I'm going to start. Once again, traditional conception of power, pretty low. It, it, it's a pretty small monkey. He doesn't look that vicious. You know, I can't really tell. I don't think his toenails are very sharp. I don't think he claw you. He is hugging and licking that chicken instead of, <laughs> like, choking it or tearing it apart or something. So, you know, there is that. Now... I also think that there's great power in choosing your battles and the decision he's made to not immediately kill the chicken. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But, you know, I think, yeah, that demonstrates his power that he, he's not killing the chicken now, but it's well within his means to. You know, his hand is a little bit close to the neck. So if, mm -hmm. uh, so if that monkey wanted, he could, uh, he could do some damage. Yeah. I, I do think the monkey is capable of doing a little bit of damage and, you know, the true power, I guess, is not about being able to wield the sword, but rather choosing the correct time to wield the sword. You, you feel me? Absolutely. <laughs> so, n n not bad, not bad. Maybe a, maybe a two. You feeling a two, Brandon? I'm feeling a two. Yeah, two in power, you know? I mean, compared to King Kong, that's relatively high, but that's not how this works. That's not, <laughs> that's not exactly how this works. <laughs> Um, let's, let's go on to Renown. Now, this is where this little guy and his little feathered avian friend are not going to do so hot. Because, I, Brandon, we might be the first, well, not the first, someone took his picture. But we might be the first to really discover this image online, you know? Yeah, I think this is an extremely niche image, you know? The, um, uh, the context for this coming up is not the context that, that most people uh, think of. Yeah, Brandon, I think this is the... Um, Sundance uh, Film Festival of Images, you know? Absolutely. That, that's, all, that's all we can say is, I don't think many people know it. It's, it's a niche image. Not many people know it. There's not a whole lot else to say. So, after all, he gets a one. We'll give him a one because he does exist. Do you Absolutely. think that's fair? Or does he does that merit a zero? I think, I think that's fair. Okay, perfect. This little monkey and his chicken friend get a one in renown. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, perfect. Okay, finally, cursedness. This is where he's gonna lose points. Um, what do you think about cursedness? You know, I think uh, it's not tremendously cursed, honestly. It's uh, you know maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit on the the cursed side in terms of you know some of the features of this monkey are a little bit a uh, little bit much. You know, the, what, what's he gonna <laughs> do with that chicken? That's another thing. You know, maybe if you're if you're an animal lover, maybe is he being friendly with that chicken? In that case. It's the opposite of cursed. It's 100% wholesome, so it would be zero. But if he's, uh, if he's a little hungry right now, that might cause a problem. But I, I think I lean more on the side of uh, it's being friendly with the chicken. So, Yeah. As much as we meme it, you know, I don't think him or the chicken would be in that position if there was immediate harm to be done to either. I mean, we could be wrong, but uh, they do seem to be vibing. So that's all I can say on the matter. I think you're 100% right. And, you know, for that fact, it is wholesome, as you said. But, uh, cursed? I don't know. It's a little, you're right. It's a little cursed how they got in this position, you know? Like, what, what's the, what could have, uh, stimulated a monkey and a chicken to just kind of be friends like that? And in, in what sort of environment are they that close to each other? You know? It doesn't, no, that's uh, an excellent uh, question. When I think of a conventional, you know, Western North American farm, I certainly don't think of, uh, monkeys. And likewise, when I think of a rainforest or, you know, a forest or jungle wherever monkeys live, you know, depends on the species, don't at me, um, I don't really think of chickens, but, you know, there are wild birds and stuff. There's wild turkeys, so I'm sure there's chickens in some places, but you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, for cursedness, let's give him, uh, let's give him a one again. He's not really cursed. It's, yeah. it's just a little funny, you know, kind of, it's, it's food for thought more than, more than it is cursed, you know? Absolutely.
<laughs> oh, perfect. And with that, we're going to tally the score, and we'll be back to send this little guy and his little friend right off. You make me un poco loco, un poquitito loco. And without further ado, the final tallied score of our monkey and chicken wombo combo for April 2021 as Monkey of the Month here on Monkey Business is five and a half golden bananas. Congratulations to this little guy. You know, many said it couldn't be done, but here he is. Once again, we have a gamer with five and a half. You know, that's kind of incredible, wouldn't you say, Brandon? I bet you if we could find this little monkey and tell him the score he just earned, he would have the most wonderful acceptance speech to share with you. But since he's not, we could improvise, but I'm choosing not to. Um, uh, I, I hope him and his chicken companion are very proud of the score they've received here. Um, I think Brandon's off wishing every shulker uh, within a 10 kilometer radius a very bad day. Congratulations to this monkey and chicken. And uh, thanks for joining us in April 2021. If this is your first time joining, Welcome! If this is your second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, welcome back, and we're so glad to have you. We hope to see you uh, off in May with some more lovely monkey nominees. Remember, you can always leave them down below. Congratulations to our chicken and monkey, our monkey chicken for April 2021, and we'll catch you on the flippity-flop. Bro, 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 bro.